Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I'm so excited about. I've literally taken forever to make this video because it can get a little complicated and I was a little bit afraid to approach this subject. Um, but I'm going to try to be as straightforward as possible. This is something that I think is the most exciting thing to do with health and weight loss and overall fitness and it is autophagy. And so I'm going to get into what that is and why it's important for you and your weight loss and health journey. And here we go. So in 2016, the Nobel Prize was given to Mr. Ashumi, I think is how you say his name, for his work and his discovery on autophagy, which literally means self-eating. And this is something that has implications for anti-aging, for shrinking cancers, for reversing obesity, for reversing other diseases, for improving memory, for improving Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, for reducing loose skin when you're losing a lot of weight, for slowing down the aging process and many more implications and exciting things this directly affects. So let's go into exactly what autophagy is. So like I mentioned before, it literally means self-eating. And it's basically a recycling system that is triggered in your body when you eat low amounts of protein or you eat no protein. So just like your body uses fat for fuel when you are not eating or you're eating a low amount of calories or you're fasting, your body uses your fat reserves to use as energy. Your body also actually uses the old proteins that you have when you're not eating a lot of protein. But it is even cooler than that Hear me out here, people, because your body actually goes for the worn out and the damaged protein. There are misfolded proteins called amyloid deposits that are seen a lot in people that have Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and cataracts and a bunch of other diseases. Actually, when you're not eating protein, it goes after those damaged parts and it breaks them down into fatty acids and amino acids and it uses those new amino acids to create good cells and healthy cells that are operating correctly. So this actually makes your body more efficient and healthier by getting rid of damaged cells. And the potential of this is to slow down and reverse diseases. Um, there's a lot of implications for this and it's really exciting. So for the purposes of my channel, this is a health and a fitness and a mental health channel, but it's also a weight loss channel specifically. And so there's a lot of people I know that are afraid to lose weight or afraid to lose an excessive amount of weight because they're afraid of loose skin. And I get that, um, but this is actually really cool because your skin is made out of, guess what it's made out of? Protein, it's made out of protein. <laughs> um, so, if you are eating low amounts of protein or if you're fasting for a certain amount of time, then your body will actually go after your excess skin and it will consume that and break it down. So you'll have less excess skin when you're losing a lot of weight. How cool is that, my people? So as you lose weight with this method, with fasting, with lower protein, you will actually take care of your excess skin hypothetically and you'll have less of a problem with loose skin. And not only can it go after loose skin, but there's also anecdotal evidence that it can help reverse damage um, from scar tissue and from stretch marks and for um, skin tags and other places where you have damage, even if you have like a bad back or a bad knee and the scar tissue is causing issues, your body will go after and clear up that scar tissue and help heal even old injuries. So like I mentioned before, this is triggered by fasting and or low protein in your diet. So if you're doing a water fast, for example, your body is not getting any excess protein, so autophagy is triggered. Um, you can also continue to eat and just eat really low protein, and so you don't necessarily have to fast for autophagy to be triggered and for it to do good for you. So the time frame you might be wondering for autophagy to be triggered um, is not an exact science. It has to do with how much protein you have in your body and different body factors that you have. And it's also not something that's easily studied. There's not a lot of scientific evidence for this specifically, but it is thought that if you're water fasting, autophagy is triggered around 24 to 48 hours and you get the benefits of autophagy within and exceeding that time frame. 
If you wanna know more about water fasting, I have other videos on that that I will link. There's a ton of anecdotal evidence about autophagy. You can read a lot about it online. There have also been scientific studies. If you wanna learn more, a good resource is to follow Dr. Fung. I've done videos about Dr. Fung in the past and read his book, and I recommend that. Um, he also has a YouTube channel, I believe, that I will link below. But he's great, he's a nephrologist, and he runs a weight loss clinic, and he's written several books, and he's kind of an authority on this topic. So I will link all of my fasting videos below for you to watch. I've also created a playlist for fasting specifically that you can watch and kind of learn more about fasting in general. Also, remember that I am not a doctor. I'm just a little lady who likes to do research and experiment on myself and try to be as healthy as possible. But take what I say as a grain of salt and do your own research and there you go. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for commenting and liking and subscribing. It really helps my channel a lot. I try to post two videos a week and I will definitely have two videos this week. So thanks for stopping by. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any type of fasting and what do you guys think about scrunchies? Let me know in the comments as well. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye.